Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. Uh, been away a little bit, been in a lot of training and a lot of uh, EMS education going on, so I haven't had a lot of free time to do some of these videos, but I'm hoping I am back on track and I can get some of these quick Monday Minutes and podcasting and content back out to you because I know that I get a lot of great feedback on these. Um, and today... I'm going to talk a little bit about drug calculations. Now, I've talked about some of this in the past. I've got some resources on this. I'm sure you've seen many, many videos online about drug calculations. Um, But this one is going to go over uh, one area of that that I'm hoping is going to give you sort of a quick um, way to figure out a dosage for a patient that you might have to treat. Now, of course, you might have to use some tools in this. When I say tools, the main thing you're going to be using is a calculator. And nowadays, everybody has a phone that has a calculator on it. And, you know, some people even just have calculators on the ambulance, right? Um, And everybody does it, guys. Don't kid yourself thinking nurses and doctors don't use calculators when they're figuring out drug dosages, right? But the good part about a tool and about this method here is just simple uh, division and subtraction and um, uh, uh, multiplication. So it's very easy, not a lot of fractions, not a lot of algebra and, and things like that that you have to figure out. So if you have to do it on paper, you can. So getting the milliliters, right? A lot of times we get presented with um, dosages for a drug for a patient where we have to figure out the milliliters that we're giving for that drug, Okay. Um, you know, you get dosages like 0.2 milligrams per kilogram or 0.1 milligrams per kilogram or even the 0.01 milligrams per kilogram. And oftentimes these can be for uh, pediatric patients, but you also can get them for the adult patients as well, right? Where you get patients uh, who are going to be giving one milligram per kilogram or, um, you know, uh, one to two milligrams of a drug when it's supplied, let's say, in 5, 10, 20 milliliter ampules or supply vials, right? So how do you figure out how many milliliters that's in the ampule that you want to give to a particular patient? It's pretty easy, and what you basically need is the kilograms of the patient. And that's not always true because sometimes if you've got, let's say, a... a um, uh, a five milligram vial of a drug and you're looking to give two and a half of that two and a half you know uh, of those milligrams to the patient or just uh, 1.5 milligrams of that five milligram vial to a patient right so it doesn't matter about the kilograms but sometimes you will need that to get your initial milligram that you want to give to a patient but not always but you're definitely going to need the dose the end dose that you're in milligrams that you want to give to the patient you're going to need to know the amount of milligrams that are that's supplied in the vial that you're giving, and you're going to need to know the milliliters of the drug that's in that's in that concentration. Okay, so let's say you've got uh, five milligrams of a drug in a one milliliter vial, or you've got one milligram of a drug in a ten milliliter vial. Okay, things like that. So those are the key. Uh, elements that you're going to need to to really know about okay so some examples right you get a one milligram of atropine is usually supplied in a 10 milliliter uh, vial right one milligram of epinephrine is supplied in a 10 milliliter uh, vial or five milligrams of versed might be in a one milliliter vial now of course where you work is going to depend it's going to vary the uh, concentration that you have and how many milligrams you have and things like that, right? But it, the bottom line is is that it doesn't matter if your Narcan here says 2 milligrams and 2 milliliters or maybe it's going to be 0.4 milligrams per milliliter in a vial, right? It doesn't matter, okay? The key element is that you need to know what you have in your supplies and these are the examples here of how um, you might have a drug supplied to you, okay? So, What's the secret sauce? And it's not that much of a secret. A lot of you might already know this little, um, you know, concoction here that I'm going to give you. Um, but I'm hoping that if you, even if you do know it, that by looking at what I'm going to show you is going to really maybe hit home and really maybe say, hey, this is a much easier and more accurate way of getting a dosage for a patient. So basically, you need to get the milligrams given that that you're going to have to give to the patient. Okay, so if you're giving 
just a straight milligram if that's what you need, or if you need to find out what the patient's uh, uh, kilograms are to figure out how many milligrams per kilogram they're going to get. Okay, so you're going to need to know that. All right, you're also going to need to divide that end amount by the milligram that you have in the vial. So if you're going to give, let's say, um, two milligrams to a patient, right, and you've got five milligrams of the drug, you're going to have to divide that two by the five, okay? And then finally, multiply that by the milliliters that you have in the vial. So if you've got five millig milligrams it's in a one milliliter vial, you're going to divide the two by the five and then times it or multiply it by the milliliters in that vial. Now, don't run off screaming yet. I know this sounds confusing, but let's just break it down into what it would look like in a formula mode, okay? So you need what you're going to give divided by what you have in milligrams and then multiply that by the milliliters that's being supplied of that drug okay pretty simple you need three numbers you're dividing once and multiplying once pretty easy to do guys so let's try it out real quick so this is one I've already used let's say you've got you're gonna give two milligrams of a drug whether you're giving it straight because of what it is um, you know in a protocol or that's what you come up with after you figure out a patient's uh, weight if it's weight based right you end up with two milligrams let's say and you have five milligrams of that drug. So, and it's in a one milliliter vial. So divide the two by the five, times it by the one milliliter, and you end up that your proper dosage is going to be 0 0.4 milliliters of that drug you're going to be giving. Okay, 0 0.4 milliliters out of that one milliliter vial that you're going to draw up and administer to the patient. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's pretty simple again. You need three numbers, you're dividing once and multiplying once to get your answer, okay? And this is a great way to be accurate with it. So if you have a calculator, you're just pretty much typing in a few numbers and you're good to go, right? So, next one. This is something, let's say, Salumedrol comes often in a 125 uh, dosage in, in uh, uh, 10 milliliters, let's say, okay? Now, let's say you're going to give... A patient who you, you're going to give that drug at one milligram per kilogram, the patient weighs 38 uh, kilograms. So you're going to give 38 milligrams, right? So just divide that 38 milligrams by 125 milligrams, okay? So if you do that, right, you take your 38 and you divide that by the 125 milligrams, that's going to give you 0 0.304 okay, um, is the number you're going to come up with. But if you multiply that by your 10 milliliters, you're going to get 3.04 milliliters. Now, of course, you can round that off to just plain 3 milliliters or 3.1 milliliters, depending upon uh, if you round up or down, right? Um, but you can keep this very accurate by doing it this way. Okay, now if you do the math and you uh, kind of reverse that and you take that 38 and the 3.4 milliliters, you'll find out that that'll equal 10 milliliters if you try to get to 125 from there. Okay, so you can reverse engineer this if you want to play around with it and see that it is indeed very true, that this is an accurate way of doing this. Okay, so again, you need those milligrams. Right? In this case, you're giving one milligram per kilogram. You have a 38 kilogram patient, so you need to give 38 milligrams. You have the drug in 125 milligrams. You're dividing the 38 by the 125 and then multiplying that by how it's supplied, how that 125 is supplied, and it's supplied in 10 milliliters. And that's going to give you the 3.04 milliliters that you are going to administer to your patient. Now, very popular one, of course, is epinephrine, especially for pediatrics, right? We're giving that normally at 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, and that's of a 1 to 10,000 solution, which is a 0 0.1 milliliter per kilogram um, concentration, okay? And it comes in a 10 milliliter vial, right? Pretty popular concentration, guys. Pretty popular way that this drug is supplied. 
you got a cardiac arrest patient, you're trying to get the proper dosage, you have an anaphylactic pediatric patient, you try and get the right dosage, right? There's a lot of numbers you got to start trying to figure out in here, right? But if you use this method, you can pretty much break it down by doing four quick math calculations by getting the patient's kilograms, um, figuring out you know, their pounds, getting into kilograms, figuring out the milligrams, and then multiplying it by what you have and the milliliters that you have. Right, so let's say you've got a 22 pound. I'm going to make this easy so we keep nice round numbers. But let's say you've got a 22 pound patient. That patient then equals 10 kilograms. So if you multiply the 10 kilograms by the 0 0.01, you have to give the patient 0 0.1 milligrams of this drug. Right. So if we plug it into our formula, okay, you want to give that 0 0.1 milligram you have one milligram. So you divide the one milligram by the 0 0.1, multiply it by the 10 milliliters that you have, and you'll end up with the answer that you have to give that patient 0 0.1 milliliters of that vial of drug that you have. Okay, guys, I know this is a lot of numbers getting thrown out, but I want you to try this out. Okay, get some, you know, figure out some of the concentrations that you have and some of your protocols and, and breaking that down. So instead of sitting there and trying to count off uh, pounds or kilograms on your vial of what you're going to give the patient, you can use this simple formula on the milligrams you want to give versus what you have and multiply that by the milliliters that, that, that milligrams are supplied in. And you'll get your answer much easier that way. And to me, more importantly, it's much more accurate. So real quick, guys, here is that formula again. I just want to show it to you one more time. Okay. Get what you're giving. Figure that out first. Okay. Sometimes you might have to convert it and get the, mill the uh, milligrams per kilogram before you get the final amount. Right. Divide that by what you actually have in your vial in milligrams. And then multiply that by the milliliters that you have that supply in and then you'll get your answer again great way to be quick about it all you need to, all you have to do is multiply and divide right and you can do that on paper if for some reason your calculator breaks down or you lose your cell phone you don't have the calculator in your cell phone or whatever the case may be you can easily do this on paper and be sure that you have an accurate dosage in the end and since a lot of times with these types of calculations we're doing it for pediatrics right? You want to be sure you're accurate, guys. So I hope this can help you. Um, just real quick, guys, listen, this is not the only way to do this sort of calculation and this sort of drug calculation when you're talking about just a simple um, milligrams from a vial and figuring out how many milliliters you have to give. There's probably a lot of different ways to do it. I'm sure maybe some of you out there have your own method of doing this. I'd love to hear it. Be sure to post it below in the comments section how you do this type of math um, and have this type of drug calculation and figure this out for your patient. I'd love to do it. Maybe you have an easier way than just a quick division and multiplication. If you do, again, I'd love to hear it. This is not the end-all be-all. This is just another method that maybe you can use if you're struggling with this sort of element of drug calculation. Maybe you can use this and this can be something that, that you can implement quickly on the ambulance when you're trying to figure out a quick uh, dosage for one of your patients. Guys, if you are interested, um, I did a webinar a while back, um, and we called it uh, uh, Medical Math Boot Camp. Okay, it was sort of an EMS webinar boot camp that we did. Um, solely targeted 100% on medical math and everything about drug calculations. Um, a friend of mine, Buck Ferris, who was an EMS educator, did this webinar he headed it up and uh, to me this is one of the great way that you can really master drug calculations guys um, don't let this whole comment here about dimensional analysis it sounds fancy but let me tell you something buck really broke that down and made it very easy to figure out how to do medical math you can click either the graphic or the click here uh, link on this page on this, this screen and it'll take you over to the website and get some more uh, details on this uh, webinar okay so go check it out it's, it's, uh, to me this is a great way to really master uh, drug calcs in EMS so go check that out and if it's something you're struggling with and maybe you can uh, you know get some more uh, great tips and information by you utilizing this webinar guys I hope you can use these Monday minutes um, if you have some minutes of your own send them over to me
my email is uh, contact at emsofficehours.com. I'd love to hear what your suggestions are, and maybe I'll do a Monday Minutes based on something that you're interested in EMS. Until next time, guys, as always, Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours and Monday Minutes. Stay safe.